Hey guys, in this video, I wanted to go over unstoppable domains. This is going to be an update video for those of you that are looking to either build a website or update their website. This is going to be a video to, to walk you through the process because this morning I was going through and trying to update my website and it took over 20 attempts to upload the files and it just, it wasn't working. So uh, I finally figured out a solution and I wanted to make this video. And I actually think for anybody that's even starting out and this is their first website that they're going to be making, I think this is gonna be the easiest option for you because it seems like there was less friction and, and less hassle overall. So what I'm gonna do is, if we go to the site now, I've got it up, it's just patrickmore.crypto, and I just um, took this this basically template uh, that I found, I looked up free HTML templates. In the prior video, I told you to go to a website and it doesn't exist anymore. So I just Googled free HTML templates and found one that I liked. And um, I, there's a couple, there's an issue with this. I, I noticed there was on this part, there's some kind of duplicate content down here and I wanted to clean this up. So I'm gonna show you how I would go ahead and update this site. So what I'm gonna do is go back over here, log in to my websites area, click on my websites, I'm gonna manage, and then here we're gonna click on website. Quite a few steps you gotta get through, but once you're here, now we can go down and we see this IPF hash and redirect to traditional domain. And I kept trying to go down here and upload my files, hoping that it was just going to kind of override what I currently had. And like I said, 20 attempts later, and I kept, it was uploading only the index file, but it was using like old CSS files. And so it, it wasn't displaying everything properly. It was like a, you know, an old 80s or 90s HTML website. So, I figured out the best solution is you use this program here called Pinata, pinata.cloud, and you go in the pin manager and you just upload. And I just, uh, let me just delete this. I think I just did this a second ago, but I'll just show you how this works. I'll delete both of these. And we'll start from scratch here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload the file, or I'm gonna upload the folder click upload and what you want to do is choose the folder that has all the assets in it now the index.html and the other html pages are here but you can't see them right now so if you notice that don't worry they're there just make sure that you're clicking on the folder that has all of the files inside of it and then click upload 56 files hit upload and then I'm just gonna call this patrickmore.crypto. And then um, I tried this last time and it didn't work. So I'm just gonna uncheck this because this works every time unchecked. So upload. Okay, so now we've got this IPF SCID code here, and then you have this patrickmore.crypto, which if you click it, will actually open into another link and show you the website. And it should have my changes fixed, because before I had you know a lot of you know co extra text there. So what I'm gonna do is, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this link, and I'm gonna go back into Chrome. By the way, I had issues with Brave Browser in unstoppable domains and Chrome works best for me. So that's what I'm doing here. Redirect to traditional domain. So get rid of the, the old text and then paste this one. And then I'll oh, get rid of this forward slash about and that extra slash at the end and then copy all of this after the IPFS slash hit C and then get rid of this. And now paste that in here. 
Now what you're gonna do is click Save All Changes, and the best wallet to use is the MetaMask, so, cause then you don't have any fees with that. Uh, go ahead and type in my password. Now, usually uh, what had happened before is this little box would pop up and it's gonna say, um, you know, wants to send me an email notification, like a 2FA secure code. Now, this happened before and Honestly, I think what happened is just because I just logged back in this, it's having me re-log into everything. So I'm just gonna exit out of this and I'm just gonna refresh because I think now that I'm logged into MetaMask, everything's gonna work. And I've still got, you know, I can go back over and grab um, this link. Go over here, click on website, change, oops change the code, get rid of all that. Yours shouldn't have that. I think it's because I scrolled down or something or I clicked a link. Um, so it should just have this and then it might have the slash at the end. Just get rid of the slash, copy this, get rid of this, paste it in here. Now hit save all changes, web three wallet. Here we go. Now sign, oops, sign sent code send code by email now i'm gonna go get that code here so let me check my phone there it is okay now i'm gonna sign it one more time and if i scroll up i've got these pending changes and in a couple of minutes, I've noticed that it really is pretty quick here. If I go back over here, open up my site, patrickmore.crypto, click on domain. It hasn't changed yet. So let's refresh. Still pending. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here. All right, so let's go ahead and refresh. Still pending changes. Let's just go ahead and check. Click domain. Boom, already updated. So that's it guys, that's all you need to do. Um, this is just a simple HTML website that I found. Uploaded it using this, um, What's it called again? Pinata.cloud program. I just signed up for the free one, uploaded it here. And, you know, basically this code right here is the exact same code as this. And I just, you know, this is what it's referencing in uh, Unstoppable. So thanks again for checking out this video. If you found it helpful, click the thumbs up. Feel free to share it with anybody else that you know that's trying to build their own website on the blockchain and if you have any questions at all feel free to comment below thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you soon